Hey guys, welcome back to Handmade. I'm Jessica, and that over there is the empty space above my bed. I have thought of about a thousand things that I can do, and of course, I have done none of them. I thought about hanging photography, I thought about doing posters, I thought about hanging up a floral installation with all these silk flowers. But one idea I just couldn't get out of my mind was an installation that I saw actually at the HGTV launch two years ago where they had taken all of these faux succulents and then nested a neon sign. And when I thought about having that behind my bed, I just couldn't get it out of my mind. But the price of tiny succulents and a full neon sign, not cheap. So to get my dream look on a budget, we're gonna use a couple of these. I love plants, as you can see, there are plants every corner, so the more green in my room, the better. We're going to create an installation with these faux boxwood panels, weave in some silk flowers, and nest the neon sign. I think it's gonna look really, really cool, and I'm super excited, so let's get started. As with any good project, the first thing we need to do is measure. I'm covering a six by four foot space and each boxwood panel measures 20 by 20 inches. So I'll need six panels for my project. This will allow us to create a three by two design centered onto the wall. You can mark the outer edges of your frame with a pencil or a painter's tape. You'll also want to add your hanging hardware in advance. My wall already has anchored screws left in the wall by the previous tenant. For your wall, you'll want to have at least two nails, hooks, or screws per boxwood panel evenly spaced. Keep extra hanging hardware on hand in case you need extra support during installation. These boxwood panels, once flowers are attached to them and everything, can get pretty heavy. Make sure that you measure the boxwood panels once you get them out of the box. There could be a slight difference and you want to leave a generous amount of room for installing. To create your design, start by laying the boxwood panels out on the floor. Depending on the size of your design and the location where you'll hang it, you may want to connect certain sections of the boxwood panels together now. Since we're planning on decorating the panels with a vine of faux wisteria and roses that will stretch across the top three panels, we're going to connect the top three panels now. We're leaving the bottom three panels detached so it will be easier to move the panels from the floor to the wall and so we don't damage the neon sign in the process. Put the boxwood panels together by locating the connectors and then gently snapping them into place. Loosely arrange the faux flowers and neon sign as desired, noting which panels the sign will be attached to. Take a picture of your design for reference in the next step. Carefully remove the faux flowers and the sign and set them aside. So now I want to tell you a little bit about how we ended up choosing this sign. At first, we considered making a neon look sign with L-wire or rope light, but honestly, there are so many good, affordable options for both real neon signs and LED neon look signs that we decided not to do that. I found this real glass neon sign mounted on acrylic for less than $75 online. You can find LED neon look signs for under 50. So next, we'll prep the flowers. Remove any undesired leaves or stems from the faux flowers. Many faux flowers pull apart at certain points, but you may need to use scissors or wire cutters. On single stem flowers, like these dahlias, make sure to leave at least two inches of the stem attached so you'll have something for the zip ties to hold onto when attaching them to the boxwood panels later. Referencing your design, begin weaving the faux flowers onto the boxwood panels using zip ties to secure. First, hold the stem in place against the boxwood panel then weave an end of a zip tie through an opening in the mesh of the panel over the stem of the flower and through the back panel of the mesh before securing the zip tie. Cut and discard loose ends of the zip ties. With our flowers attached, we're finally ready to hang. Starting at the top corner, Mount the boxwood panels onto the hardware you installed earlier, adding more hooks or nails if necessary. You'll know if you need more hanging hardware and extra support if the boxwood panels start to pucker and come away from the wall. Connect any additional panels as you go, 
but leaf panels that will hide the neon sign cording or any extension cords until the final step. Now that the top and side panels are in place, it's time to attach the neon sign. Just like you did with the faux flowers, loop a zip tie through the back of the boxwood panel and feed it through the neon sign's hanging hardware, then back through the boxwood panel mesh and secure the zip tie. Snip off the excess plastic. Feed the plug through the back of the boxwood mesh. If your sign comes with the standard plug, you may need to cut an opening in the back of the mesh to be able to push the cord through. Before we put the last panel on, we also need to mount the neon sign's cord to the wall and connect it to an extension cord. I'm using clear adhesive hooks to secure the cord to the wall. I lined it up in a way so that most of the cord will be hidden behind the final boxwood panel, but the left part of it exposed so I could still access the neon sign's rocker switch. Once you have your cord in place, add the final boxwood panel and plug it in. And that's it. You have a beautiful wall covering that you can create in just a few hours. I really love the pink glow of the neon sign and feel like it really completes my bedroom. I'm honestly just glad not to be looking at the empty space above my bed anymore. The great thing about this project is that it's completely customizable. Don't like the look of faux flowers? Leave them out. You can also add picture frames, small planters, or just leave it plain. Anything your handmade heart desires is possible, or at least anything you can connect to a boxwood panel with the zip tie. You've got options is what I'm saying. Well guys, that's it. I love how this project turned out so much. Uh, it really speaks to me on several levels, all of the greenery, the flowers, the neon sign. I just love it and it really makes my room feel complete. What do you guys think? Would you make something like this for your home? Let us know in a comment right down below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye.